name? Friends and neighbors? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to uh, the political process here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Um, you might notice uh, that I am looking over here a lot, where normally I'm looking straight forward. I've gone from a single monitor setup back to a dual monitor, so the camera is kind of like here, but I'm playing here with a second monitor here. So, anywho, there's that. Also, some housekeeping. Uh, I am probably going to, within the next couple of days, start a Stardew Valley playthrough. And I think I'm going to try and dabble on Twitch. So we'll be doing it uh, as a live stream. I will also record as we go. And then I will post the episodes to YouTube. Um, if you are on Twitch and would like to see me doing this game or World of Warships live on there, let me know in the comments and we can consider that because I am new to Twitch. The reason I haven't used it in the past is because my internet bandwidth was terrible. So me trying to stream was tough because I just couldn't get the speed that I needed and it would drop a lot of frames and such. So it just wasn't a very good presentation. Um, but now I've got fiber. It's a lot faster and more stable. So I'm hoping that I can at least explore that, see how it goes. Obviously, being brand new to it, I won't have any followers. So anyway, be on the lookout there. My username on Twitch is going to be longtime listener 865 like the knoxville area code uh so that's that now we left off last episode here in week one of 2040 we're still a representative in the house but we are running for president now we've got pretty good name recognition at the national level but we've got campaigns coming up and early on we really want to try and be sure that we are competitive in the states where these votes are going to happen. And you can see here, if I go to Iowa and conduct a poll as far as voter intention, right now, it looks like we would win. We've got to stay aggressive on that front. We cannot start losing states early and having delegates go to our competitors and fall behind because early on it's like i am i i actually kind of dabbled with us a little bit so you know this is somewhat me kind of trying to figure out how the mechanics of the game work and then going back and doing the live episode it seems like if you don't win those early states like popular opinion kicks in and everybody in other states just kind of votes for the guy that's winning because they assume that he's the best candidate or whatever so we've got to be aggressive and I think the way that we're going to do that is like, we're gonna go here. Uh, we'll continue doing all of these national interviews, um, but we are going to be more aggressive with our marketing campaigns. Like we've got automated marketing set up, spending 400,000 every week um, on general uh advertising but what i want to do is i want to go in here and do a television ad in the state of iowa actually let's actually go back and think about something here for a second so let me back out and i want to look at my policies and make sure that there's nothing that like other democrats are going to really hold against me so like, I like our tax idea of maintaining for low income individuals, decreasing for the middle class and increasing on the upper class to try and offset that. Plus also hypothetically bring in a larger overall amount of uh, tax revenue at the federal level. And then we also wanna look here, like we are in support of free community college I think free tuition for public colleges is a bad idea. I think we're going to kind of stick with that. Um, 
The one that I want to look at, though, is healthcare. So, where would it be? Oh, so we're going to, okay. I think I actually already went in and changed a few of these things to where, like, we are now focusing on the environment rather than the economy when it comes to environmental policy. I changed that versus where we were. And then the other one that I changed, uh, I changed the one for the, the support of colleges or whatever. The other one that I changed is universal health care. We went from oppose to support, and I think that that will help my um, voter appeal in some of those like blue states. Uh, well, amongst Democrats, that should improve my overall appeal. So we did a little bit of a flip-flop deal there. If it looks like it's going to backfire, you will never see this episode because I will just back out, start over, and, and figure it out. Because again, it's us trying to kind of game the system to figure out exactly what we need to do to win because that's my objective here. I want you to see me win. I don't want you to see how to fail um, because you can do that yourself. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let's go into marketing. We're going to do a television ad in Iowa and say call it uh let's go and focus on healthcare, and let's focus on universal health care and we're going to spend 200 let's let's spend 300,000 on just this ad it's going to get 18 million views and it's only running in the state of of iowa everybody is going to see this actually that's probably more than we need let's do like 250,000. either way this is going to max out our um, name recognition. And you can see here, like, why do Democrats not like me? But you see here, Republicans and independents are big time in favor of this. So overall effect on public opinion is positive. It's weird that it's a negative impact on the Democrat front. We'll see if that affects us in the polls. In fact, let's look at this one more time. 25 to 21 okay let's see in a week where that sits i don't need to do anything here do i oh run for re-election no vote on a budget resolution we're just going to say we support this because it's the democrats that are setting it up they got a lot of bipartisan support which is cool now back to the campaign front we're now a few weeks away from the the um uh primary in Iowa we're going to conduct another poll and now we are we've increased the gap that's awesome so let's do it again let's make it a little bit less in fact let's actually go back what other states are coming up uh, let's go overview Iowa New Hampshire Nevada so we're gonna add New Hampshire this week so we got Iowa, we're gonna add New Hampshire. We are gonna go and press universal healthcare again, saying that we support it. We're gonna spend another 200 grand, run it, more public opinion. It's, just, it's still a positive effect. Democrats, for whatever reason, don't like that, but you would think that they would be in support of that. Like, those are going the opposite direction of what I thought would be the case. So, whatever. Maybe I'm not understanding universal health care the way I thought I did, but I thought that that was something that Democrats wanted. So, all right, we are ready now. No, we got to use time doing some events. Let's go on all of the national news programs and next turn do those again and now let's go back here we're going to add Nevada we don't care about the Republican presidential primary let's go into marketing do another television ad add Nevada let's do economic growth this time do another 200k and 
run it. Negative impact across the board. Like, come on with this. Dang it. It's okay. <laughs> Maybe we uh, should learn from that, though. If we go into now campaign, we're going to run another poll in Iowa. Boom. We're still out in front. Let's actually go ahead and run one in New Hampshire. We're in front and in Nevada. Way in front. Heck yeah, get it. So the strategy appears to be working, which is awesome. Uh, do I need to do anything here? Nope. Still nothing. Uh, Democratic primary debate is to in, in this week. So we got to knock that out. We'll deal with that in a second. First, let's go in and do... So, like, these three are coming up. Those are the only three that I know of. We're going to get... We're going to do a healthcare one now. Universal healthcare in those three states. Let's make it 100K. Boom. Yay. These are all good things. Name recognition continues to creep up. Our automated marketing should still be going. Um, yeah, see, they spent that at the end of the turn. And look at how much money we're now bringing in. So we're doing okay financially. Uh, oh, that reminds me. We spent a bunch of money on marketing. So <clears throat> I screwed up. When I was doing the test run, I went back and figured out what things that I wanted to tweak. And I accidentally saved the game afterwards. So I had spent a ton of money on on marketing to try and boost our name recognition. That's why it was as high as what it was, is we spent a fortune trying to get it there. Obviously it worked. We've got a huge lead now in some of these early uh, primary states, which is awesome. And it looks like we're now on our way to a victory. So we'll just keep doing that. Uh, let's go in here and do our interviews. Then we'll go to the debate. And yeah, <clears throat> so anyway, all right. So we are basically going to say in regards to environmental policy, there's a way to address environmental issues with both, you know, support from both parties. So that's what we're going to say. We're going to stay right down the middle. We're not going to sit here and say that my environmental policies are the best for the country because it shouldn't be my policy. It should be the policy of everyone combined deciding what's the best policy. So that's why we're gonna sit right down the middle. Boom, Democrats don't like that. Independents loved it. Very little impact on Republicans. So bottom line is that that's probably a win for us. And now let's see what the other people say. I just want to see if anybody attacks me. I don't care about their policies. So we're good there. This guy is going after Mr. Lomax. Mr. Lomax doesn't care. Not much to say from Curtis or Stacy or Murray. So I think that that went well. Let's go ahead and run another poll in Iowa to see where we stand. Still pretty well out in front. So, next turn, another primary debate amongst Republicans. We don't care. We are raising a ton of money, y'all. In fact, let's go ahead and open. Uh, so, we're going to open field offices in every state. We're going to open two more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boom, get it done. Let's go. All right, <clears throat> so that might help us get even more like name recognition and fundraising done, etc. We are getting close to 100% name recognition, which at which point we can just stop doing the door dock, uh, door knocking, door knocking for the most part. So we'll keep an eye on that. But uh, 
right now I'm feeling pretty good about things, at least as far as winning the primary. So we'll see how it goes, but um, let's do another ad for uh, crime general in those three states. We're going to go another like 150 grand, run it. All good. Impact there. That's good. And now, what else did we need to do? Anything going on here? Budget resolution. This is still Democratic um, legislation, so we're going to support it. All good there. We should be ready to move on, right? Okay. Here we go. It is primary time in Iowa and now we can drop Iowa from our marketing strategy and add South Carolina because you could see it pop up on the list so we're gonna go there we're gonna say healthcare universal and spend 250 grand boom a lot of love on that one Democrats still not really in favor of that for whatever reason and that might be good for me when it comes time for the general election if we're the nominee if I can say like look you know Republicans if you want universal health care I'm your guy and maybe get some of those or you know those moderate votes I might get those because it's looking like we're getting pretty broad support there um so what else did I need to do? Uh, let's run a poll in New Hampshire. Boom. Conduct. Yeah, we got a healthy lead there as far as the polling projections, which is freaking awesome, guys. Now let's look at finance. We're up to six and a half million, and we were pretty low on this <laughs> to start the episode because of how much I spent to try and you know springboard us into contention so that's good um let's go ahead and watch primary results i guess so we got 39 delegates why it got 26 nobody else got any is basically what went down so we ended up getting about 30 percent of the total vote to 20% for Wyatt. That is awesome. Let's go back to the campaign campaign front view. What is this here? I just looked at that, didn't I? What is then primary coverage? So it's like showing me the results before. That was weird. Why was it showing me the results before they actually did the election? I'm confused. Anybody else feeling me here? And like, why is it not showing anything? <sighs> Okie dokie. So skip to the end. There were no results because the results are already in. Whatever. All right. Another democratic debate. Here we go. Uh, how are we going to handle the federal budget? We are going to explain that the federal budget is the perfect opportunity for both parties to find compromise. We are going to create a budget that addresses the interests of everyone. Again, Democrats, not super crazy about that because I'm just hovering on the middle ground and they want somebody that's going to be super liberal across the board. That's not me. So we're winning favor amongst independents. We're losing favor amongst Republic or Democrats, but that's okay as long as we still manage to win the nomination uh, for the Democratic Party. So they're attacking each other. Curtis, Stacy, Murray. Some of these guys are going to start dropping. Actually, wait, Lloyd Stoller has withdrawn. So. People are going to start dropping out of the race, which is good because that means they are not going to be taking away funds from me on the campaign front. 
and I might get a little bit bigger share of the pie when it comes to inbound contributions. So we've done our marketing stuff for this week. We're ready to go to week seven and see what goes down in New Hampshire. So why does it do this? Like if I go here, we're in New Hampshire. Oh, okay, I just had to click on the state. So let's see how we're doing here. We should win as long as everything continues to go sort of as projected. And early on, it's looking really good. Yeah, we're way out in front. Wyatt again gonna come in second and he should get some delegates for that. Bruce might get some, depending on how they split those things up. But we're now 94% reporting and we won handily, which is awesome. So let's go. I don't care about. Um, oh, here we go. Let's go to New Hampshire. We got 21 to his 14. Nobody else got any. So that's good. Go back to the campaign. Now, we got a bunch of states that are now showing up for week 10. So we're going to add all of them to my marketing uh, stuff this week. So New Hampshire falls off. We're going to add Alaska. Actually, Alabama, Alaska. Holy moly. So let's go here. Alabama, Alaska. Um, New Hampshire falls off. Oh, gosh. There's a bunch of them. California, Colorado, Georgia, Idaho, Kansas, Louisiana. So, California, Colorado, Georgia, Idaho, Kansas, right? Louisiana, Massachusetts, Maine, Minnesota. Where else there's a bunch but this is again all part of the strategy north Ca north carolina north dakota uh nebraska new york i'm trying to do a visual real quick all right so they were on there they were on there they were on there they were on there uh, I don't think Ohio was. I'm pretty sure Oklahoma was. Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia. Uh, let's try that. Now let's go back. Okay, so New York, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Virginia, Vermont, Washington, Wyoming. I had some of those wrong. So... You go away, you go away, you go away. Vermont, Virginia, Utah, Texas, Tennessee. I think that's all of them. Now, we're going to go health care, universal health care, and let's pump like a million bucks into this. Okay, good deal. Didn't have a huge impact on... Um, public opinion but we did get a fair amount of additional name recognition the reality is a lot of that is spread across several states so we're going to actually go back in focus on economic growth actually let's focus on crime go general and let's do another million bucks hit it boom and you know basically doubling the overall name recognition there now, let's go ahead and run a poll in Nevada just to make sure we're still doing well here. Conduct, boom, boom, boom. It's closer than it was before, but we still have the lead. And that's what we need. Now, we got to go do anything here. Don't need to do that. Gas tax. We do not want to create an amendment we are going to oppose that amendment and now we are going to vote in favor of this legislation boom so that's done now here 
let's go ahead and do interviews. It's funny that nobody is doing attack ads against me when I am winning. <laughs> like, what's up with that? See there? We brought in 850000 in funds um, in 25 hours. So we're bringing in way more money on a weekly basis because of how the fact that we are now the front runner. And this number is going way up, and we need that. Because we're going to have to continue to be aggressive here. So let's go ahead and go to presidential. Pr Actually, let's go here. Uh, oh, my gosh. So we are going to say for grants for low-income low income school districts, we are going to say no. We're going to oppose their amendment. And then we are going to support the legislation. Boom, and then same thing here. No. No. Yes. Okay. Back to the campaign front. Let's go ahead and watch primary coverage in Nevada. Out of the gates, we've got the lead, but Wyatt is slowly closing the gap. Now, this might just be one state where he has managed to pull that off, but we've got to be careful. We need to stay aggressive. And, you know, those targeted marketing ads will definitely make a difference. And 90% in, it looks like we've got it. So that's good. 21 to his 14. And so, like, can I see the overall number of delegates? Yeah, I've got 81 to his 53. So it's not over yet. Stacy managed to get nine. I don't, was that in that state? Where did Stacy get those nine? I don't remember. She didn't get, she, she, I guess she got them here. Where did she get those delegates? She didn't get them in New Hampshire. She didn't get them in Iowa. Oh, okay. She got them in Nevada. So there you go. <clears throat> All right. Back to the campaign campaign front. We can drop Nevada. We got to add Hawaii, Missouri, Michigan, Mississippi and Ohio. So, marketing, boom. Drop Ohio and then Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri. What was the other one? I don't remember. Let's go back and look at it. Uh, Hawaii. Boop. We're going to continue going healthcare, universal healthcare. That's our big ticket here. We're going to pump $2 million into this one. Spreading it out across a lot of states so the impact isn't quite as potent per state. In fact, let's, let's go big time here. Let's go like $4 million. Boom. That's a big deal. Basically, for every dollar spent, we get, you know, name recognition is how that worked out there. Now, we got to watch the finances because that was a big one. But this is a huge week coming up in week uh, 10. So that's what we're kind of worried about here. So let's go ahead now. Was there anything I needed to do here? We got those done. Go back here and do interviews. And now we can advance. All right, nothing to do there, right? Actually, boom, we improved road quality. Good for us. We got border security tightened and we increased access to healthcare. Universal healthcare is 
probably not going to happen as fast as they would like. So we're just going to go ahead and dismiss it. New challenges will pop up. It's okay. Let's go back here. And now uh, South Carolina can drop off because we're we've got that primary going right now. And then Arizona, Florida, and Illinois, we will add. Arizona, Florida, Illinois, we will add. Let's do healthcare. We're going to do another million. Universal, boom. All right. Good enough. We don't need to do a ton. We'll focus a little bit more. Once all of these states are gone, then the ads will be more targeted because it'll be a smaller audience that we're going for. But look, we're raising almost a million bucks now on a weekly basis, so we can afford to spend a bunch on advertising. So we're, we're getting to be in pretty good shape, and we might even start opening some more field offices. Um, so let's go ahead and watch the primary coverage in South Carolina. And I'd be curious to see how our numbers stack up against the Republican turnout. So we're winning, but it's close. Wyatt is not making this easy on me. I would imagine that Murray will drop out after this week. Stacy probably not far behind. Now, I got 195,000 votes. The Republican only got 210, but there are a lot more votes there going his way. So, like, we're not going to win South Carolina, but I was curious to see how far apart it would be. And it's farther than I would like, but it's okay. All right. So now let's check this one out. We got 28. He got 21. Stacy got 13. Murray, zip. So he's got to drop out. So back to the campaign front. Nothing to do there. We just need to basically do... We already did the advertising, so we need to do interviews. And then we're good to advance. Um, but let's do some polls. I mean, we've got five million bucks. And we have a lot of states coming up. Let's do a poll in Alaska. Okay, we're good there. Uh, let's go to Alabama, because that's the one that we should have been looking at there anyway. Really good shape. California... really good shape so we're looking good we're three for three let's look at colorado and georgia and if the trend continues we can save money and not do the rest of them really good shape and then georgia this one might be a little bit closer because it's a battleground state it's really not though so i think we're in very very good shape here we are starting to get attacked regarding, you know, a few different issues, but it might not be enough to make the difference. So let's go ahead and advance. Okay. All right. It this week did it. We ended up getting enough delegates with that week to secure the nomination for the Democratic uh, bid for the White House. So, hip, hip, hooray, we got her done. Now we need to pick a running mate. We are young. Not that that's, like, the huge, you know, decision-making factor, but, like, let's look at... Where is Wyatt? How old is he? Like, I could take somebody that I beat like here lloyd 
75% shared policies. Remember, he ran and dropped out early. Wyatt, also a pretty good level of agreement here. He's got very liberal social ideology, and then fiscally, he's you know a little bit less liberal. Uh, I'd like to find somebody that was that says liberal and liberal. Actually, you know what? Liberal and very liberal is fine. Even like moderate and very liberal would be ideal, but I don't know if I can find that. I don't know if they list moderate here or if it's either conservative or liberal. There's nothing down the middle, you know what I mean? This dude's from PA, but he's a little bit too liberal on the fiscal side of things. So who's it going to be? <clears throat> Uh, Wyatt is looking like the leader in the clubhouse. Uh, and that could give us a really strong ticket. Let's do that. Where'd he go? Where are you at, Wyatt? Right there. Details just to make sure. He's a moderate Democrat, <clears throat> so I think he's going to have the same general policies that I do for the most part. <clears throat> so that's who we will choose for our running mate. Congratulations on winning the Democratic nomination. You did well, but now it's time to focus on the general election. Honest fact is most states don't matter. In a winner-take-all system, Democrat will win the Democratic states. Republican will win the Republican states. No matter how much time or money you spend there, your focus should be on swing states. Sp states where voters are split equally between both parties. Independent voters are more important in those states. So be sure to focus on party turnout. Your party has to vote if you hope to win. It means ensuring that they're enthusiastic, blah, 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 blah. Keep voter enthusiasm high. <clears throat> Familiarize yourself with the campaign map, focusing on how many electoral votes each state has, yada, yada. All right. Spend all of your effort campaigning in those additional states. You can click predict election under the campaign map to help you strategize. So <clears throat> here we are. We have been selected as the Democratic nominee. If we go to here and look at our finances, holy crap, where did all this money come from? 13 million? Well, that's awesome. And now here's one thing we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go and open field offices in every state. We're gonna open two more. And then in the swing, you know, potential swing states, we are going to add another two, I think, will be the plan for now. I don't know if we're missing any here. Ohio, Pennsylvania, Texas is winnable. It'd be hard but I think we might be able to get it. Let's add Wisconsin. I feel like sometimes they can flip-flop. Iowa, maybe. Whatever. <clears throat> we don't need to do a ton of door knocking. Increases name recognition. We don't necessarily care all that much about that at this point. Increases name recognition. It, let's see, it says it's the most efficient way for them to contact the greatest number, but it's also the least effective. And again, it's just about name recognition. Uh, this also increases name recognition. I'm confused. What increases voter enthusiasm? Because that's what we ultimately want. Let's just split these up evenly. Let's go like that. <clears throat> Wait, 
What did I just do here? So this, these all get selected. Now that I do that, it will confirm the changes in all of those states. Now what we want to do is go here and go to the states that we consider to be swing states and make sure we've got additional field offices there. We're going to put another one in California just to be, you know, as, you know what, I don't think we need to. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? <clears throat> All right, we'll do Illinois, Iowa, Michigan. Uh, I guess we'll do New York, but I'm not worried about being able to win New York. Ohio, we'll do Pennsylvania, but I should easily win Pennsylvania since it's my home state. And then let's go Wisconsin. And we're going to add two more in those states. In fact, four more. All right. <clears throat> That's, that should be enough. Now, marketing. Um, at this point, it's down to just me and who is my opponent? Oh, there are two still in the mix. Seymour Hendler and Julius M. Robinson. Now, this dude's got $94 million in total donations. Holy moly. That's a lot. <laughs> It's okay, though. It's okay. Um, let's go here. What about Julius? He's more in line with how many I've got. Delegate count 568 to 597. Man, that's close. Okay, so this guy's sleepy, humble, unsophisticated, and friendly. Very conservative social ideology, which might help me with moderate voters. And then Julius, very conservative, very conservative. He's content, considerate, decadent, odd, but persuasive. So anyway, we'll deal with them whenever the time comes. Uh, for right now, I think basically like we can just start doing some interviews and getting ourselves kind of primed and ready for the general election which is going to take a lot of effort and focus. I'm going to go ahead and do one nationwide advertisement right now to talk about healthcare. And we're going to spend $5 million on it. If you see here, ad views, 307,000 or 7 million, basically. That's pretty much everyone in the country is is likely to see this uh advertisement not all of them but a bunch of people are going to see it and that's kind of what we're shooting for here just get our name out there boost our recognition especially amongst republicans and independents voter enthusiasm is a little bit low amongst democrats i would like to have that up to like 74 percent ish um but independents it's also pretty high it's close to as high as it is for uh, Democrats, which is awesome because I will need those votes in those swing states. All right. What I want to see is when this gets down to just one person, we're see, like, I spent five million, I brought in two million in campaign funds. Like, we're doing okay. Um, in fact, let's go like this and We'll go ahead and crank this up to 500,000. And then we are going to go into events. I want to try and get like at least to week 18 ish. We'll see if we get there or not. Um, so that stuff's all done. I don't need to do anything there. Um, See, like this, name recognition, that's pretty much everyone in the country. We're at 100%. So I don't need to do anything else to boost name recognition. With that said, let's go into volunteers. Do that. Oh, my gosh. 
stop. So all of them, I now want you to stop doing as much door knocking. And I want you to spend your time doing fundraising. Like, let's spend... Let's go like that. Let's do a bunch of fundraising. Confirm that. And that way, we're, we're bringing in a, a ton of cash. And the idea is, every week, I want to be running advertisements. So, like, let's say free community college. Every state, I want you to know that we are on board with the idea of free community college. We'll spend two and a half million. It continue. Not a huge impact, but it was all positive. That's good. Why did that go down? What's up with that? All right. Anyway, um, next. Look how much we are bringing in in campaign funds. Where is all this money coming from? Oh, it's probably from our field offices. So this is like what our staff, I guess, is able to do. And then our volunteers are bringing in a fortune. Like PACs are giving us money. The money is rolling in, y'all. Whoop! Get it. So, like, we are in really good shape financially to start cranking out big-time advertising. Julian, oh, 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 it's me and Julius. And look here. He is attacking our policy regarding coal power production. So, here's where we kind of have to get strategic. And, like, can I look at his policies? Platform. Boom. So, we got to find some things that we can attack him on. He doesn't want to increase money uh, towards scientific funding. Uh, he opposes, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, government handouts do not eliminate poverty. They perpetuate it. We might be able to attack him on that. The best way to improve the economy is to reduce taxes. Mm, there's... That one's hard, because if I go and attack him on that, what people hear is, I want to raise taxes. And I got to be careful how I approach that. So, let's go ahead and say, I got to find something that moderate people are going to be on board with. And I have to be careful, because if I pick wrong, I could it could backfire. So, like, when we go to gun... gun crime and policy he is against universal background checks and i think overall as a country more people were probably in favor of background checks than against it so we might be able to get him there let's actually try something here let's do a quick save and we're going to go and we're going to attack him on that so we're going to say marketing television ad attack guns background checks so we obviously are attacking him <laughs> we're gonna spend a, we're gonna spend seven and a half million on this even republicans supported that so like that probably helps us um and we need to continue to try and figure out ways to, like, if he's going to attack me, we can push back a little bit. But ultimately, I don't want to do that many attack ads. We kind of want to try and stay more positive throughout this campaign. Um, I'm not going to save now. Like, now that we know that we kind of tested that theory and maybe we can start to use some of that stuff, we'll keep that in our back pocket but my strategy is going to be to run a positive campaign in favor of my policies as opposed to you know like if he wants to attack my policy regarding coal power production what i want to do is like let's go into my profile check out policy and we got to find where is um in energy so when it comes to energy I am saying there should be less coal energy. And if he's going to say 
that's ridiculous. We need more coal energy. I'm going to go in and like the Democrats and the people that are like in favor of uh, environmentally responsible power production. I could come in here. I could say marketing, television ad. We're going to go into environment. And I'm going to, you know what? You want to attack me for that? We're going to go like this. I'm going to spend $3 million there. And he was also focused on Florida specifically. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go like this. And we're going to do the exact same thing specifically focused on the states that he was trying to attack me in. And basically, this is my way of going in and saying, he's absolutely right. I am in favor of less coal power production because we could do other kinds of coal energy and be better off. And see, there, we were the winner in that back and forth exchange. Clearly, like, this all went up. Independent support went up. So, like, this was all a net positive. And again, these are things that we're going to try and kind of factor in in the next episode. But for today, that'll do it. Uh, again, remember what I'm talking about maybe doing as far as some Twitch live stream activity. So if you're interested, let me know. And I will, like I said, I'm a complete novice there. Um, but I want to try and maybe consider uh, or, or I'm going to at least dabble with it, see how it goes. And if there's some interest, we'll continue to try and leverage live streaming on Twitch while we record. And then I will go back and post the content to YouTube as well. So. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Good evening, friends and neighbors. Or shall I say this afternoon?